Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Let's discuss about the product. Our product is an expert system to distinguish a defective eye from a normal eye. Eyes are the organs of vision. Detection of most common differentiating characteristics of eye diseases from the fungus images of the retinal can be a good approach as an automatic and low cost method for broad classification initial screening. For example, in early diabetic retinopathy, the detection enables application of modern treatment in order to prevent or delay the loss of vision. The paper has referenced diabetic retinopathy and retinous pigmentosa for analysis purpose. Automated approaches for detection of microanalysis in digital color retinal fungus photographs helps ophthalmologic is to detect the emergence of its initial symptoms and determine the next immediate action step for the patient. A similar mechanism for automated early diseases detection method is proposed to futuring identification of dark pigments like miniature futures, exudate and exudate, microanalysis detection and these futures extracted hand prove to a great and greater extent as the primary instance for the defectiveness of eye. A good number of images along with the response from the ophthalmologist has proved to be a great help towards the observation as derived from the mechanism and discussed in the paper. The proposed mechanism can be extended up to the limit of surveyed superlining and so as to automate the practical responses as obtained from the ophthalmologist in real-time scenario. Diabetic retinopathy, the most common deep eye diseases, occurs when blood vessels in the retina changes. It is found to be the leading cause of visual impairment. In the present age world, sometimes these vessels fill and leak fluid or even close off completely. In other cases, abnormal new blood vessels grow on the surface of the retina. The presence of the micro systems in the eye is one of the early signs of diabetes retinopathy. The longer time a person has diabetes, there are greater chances that he or she might suffer from this disease. Diabetic retinopathy usually affects both eyes. People who have diabetic retinopathy often don't notice changes in their vision in the early stages. But as it progresses, diabetic retinopathy usually causes vision loss that in many cases cannot be reversed. Many methods have been proposed in order to get an accurate blood vessel detection and segmentation in fungus image like multilayered threshold technique to segment the vessels. Usage of scale-oriented selective Gaber filters to detect the abnormal blood vessels. The previous automation techniques were limited to a real-time quality measurement of the captured images. Later, automation included Laysian detection and automatic future logistication and these can be the basic for the supervised desist static methodology implementing. So this is the system flow of our design. So initially we have taken the input images in the name of I images. So I scanned images we have stored in our database that is taken images or pre-processed by noise removing. For noise removing we have doing filter and the color channels are splitted into red, green or blue because we have to process each channel and from that corresponding channels we are selecting particular channels and we are doing edges and ROV of the particular different channels and they are fused with the images and finally we are masking that image with the original image. Finally, as the masking of image with the segmented and original, we can obtain the segmented identified result. Let's see the demonstration of our product. As we earlier discussed, our product is based on MATLAB programming language. So, we are using MATLAB 2013A for the implementation of this product. 
and this is the main window of our MATLAB tool. So this is the command window and this is workspace command history and this is the directory file. In directory file the file is showing or our backup of our product. So here you can see the similar name with different formats. That means for example main one dot m main one dot figure. Those figure states the names because the dot m file store states that there is a programming file and dot figure file states that is the graphic user interface design. Well if I have to process the product I have to select main one dot m. So while I am running this process that will call the main one dot figure. So I have selected this process that recalled that main window. So this is the main window of our process panel and here I am selecting image. So from the databases of images I am selecting an image. For example I have selected this image. So the selected image is shown here. This is called access. So I am doing pre-process. As we already discussed I am doing histogram equalization for this. So I am doing next to the main panel and the processed image will be nearby this. So we can compare the original image with the processed image. So here the original will be remaining here. The processed image with stage by stage will be visible here. Next I am processing red channel, green channel and blue channel. I am splitting three channels from the RGB image. So this is the corresponding red, green and blue channels. And I am going back to main frame. So I have to click yes to go for main channel. So edges and ROI. Here what I have to do is I have to generate edge and reduction. So I have processing edges. So edges are processed from the red channels because of the visual impression and visuality and ROI is extracted from the green channel. So because red channel is giving better edges for our process and green channel provides ROI. And then image is fusing. The fused image will be here and final image is masked with the original image. Here is the original image. If you want to see the performance result, you have to click the yes. The results will be shown here. Thank you.